Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the weekly channeled messages that I share with famous people from the afterlife because those dead people, they give the best advice. All right, let's get started this week. We are going to connect with a actor and I've spoken with him before. It's a guy, it's a dude. We got a dude on deck today. <laughs> I've spoken with him before and I will link up in the comments some of the audio from the previous interview I've had with him. Um, he first came to me, I think in the fall of 2017 and I recorded that on audio. All right, are you ready? Above Life Channelers. I would like to introduce you to the energetic vibration from the afterlife of Mr. Robin Williams. <laughs> He's like, do I need to like do something fabulous, you know, like sing and dance or something? I'm like, no, it's okay. It's okay. And he's been with me for a few minutes here for the last 10 or 15 minutes before session. And so his energy actually traditionally comes through for me. Very sweet, very gentle, very kind and good natured, but he also is funny. I mean, as far as like silly, I would say he's kind of silly. He's got a little silly energy, which I appreciate. It makes talking to dead people a lot more lively and lighthearted. He's like, ooh, she's good, she's good. I'm like, thank you. So you, I hope that you'll feel the different aspects of his energy coming in. And in order to do that, when we do channeled messages, when I'm sharing, channeling as Robin is here and his energy is here and present. Be sure you give yourself uh, that opportunity to connect through that heart space. Just, uh, just clear that heart space so you can feel the true nature of the soul essence. So no matter what he has experienced in his human lifetime, no matter what um, has ha ha he has confronted or dealt with, you can feel the true, just beautiful resonance of energy that comes through that we are in our pure form in the afterlife, because it just feels so good. So just feel whatever he shares, just know that it's just honest and loving and kind. He's really, I enjoy talking with him. We haven't talked for several months though. It's been a while. He says, yes, it's been some time, hasn't it? And he says, I've been busy, I've been busy. I've been booked. You've been booked, huh? So let's talk about that. So what's the afterlife like? Can you talk to us about that? Because I think it would be great for, for people, real human people to hear that. And he says, well, there's not much to tell. It's all kind of the feeling, the feeling vibes. He's like the feelings, the feelings, the feelings. And when he says the feelings, he means like vibration energy. Is that correct? Indeed it is. Yes, it is. Give her a prize. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So, so seriously though, Robin, afterlife stuff. It feels like you literally, it does feel like you've been booked when you say you've been busy. So can you share with us a little bit about that so that our brains can kind of comprehend that process? Yes, it feels like, have you been gone since 2016? I'm feeling like 216, 2016 was your death date. And um, September significant for some reason, September and then three weeks. So is it September and then in three weeks of September, the third week of September or September and then three weeks after? Um, he says diagnosis, diagnosed. And Okay. There's been some things going on with my family, he says, my human family here on, that, are, that are here on earth. And there's some things that have been sorted out or being sorted out uh, the last few months. And so he's been busy. It feels like he's been busy really holding space and, and holding on to that. And he also is saying, this is interesting. He's also sharing that um, he's also been with other comedians specifically. Um, as a guide, would you say a guide? Is that accurate? Sort of like a coach. He's just like a coach, you know, and he's showing me like in Rocky, like, 
whoever the manager guy was or the coach for Rocky, he's like, come on, you can do it, you can do it, kind of like that energy. He says, you know, comedy is a tough business. It's really tough to be a comedian. And a lot of comedians are very serious people. Like if you met them and actually knew them just as like a friend, as a friend or neighbor, they can, they're very serious people. You might not even know that they're comedians. Uh, interesting. So is there pressure to be funny all the time? I got to ask that. So he's like, what do you think? Really? What do you think? Even in the afterlife, there's kind of that when people connect with me, they anticipate the, the laugh, you know, the big show kind of a thing. Well, you always brought it. You really brought that. He's saying that it's easier to be a character than it is to be a, a, a person. Sometimes it's much easier to be somebody else than to be yourself. You know, I think that's true for everyone, not just you at times, you know. He's saying it's like an escape. It is, you can escape whatever your current circumstances are when you're acting or when you're on stage or no matter what kind of performance you're giving, you can really you can transcend whatever your human experience is. That's, that makes a lot of sense. He's showing me musicians and entertainers. Like he's showing me himself playing a guitar. Did Robin Williams play the guitar? I don't know. Did you pick that up in the afterlife, Robin, by hanging out with all the musicians? And he's like, should I do my Elvis impression? My Elvis? I'm like, yeah. Okay, Robin, yes. No, don't do it. Please don't do it. I don't want to be channeling Elvis and Robin Williams. That would be a very, he said, would you say that's an odd couple? <laughs> okay, enough, enough, enough. There's so many dead people. Let's just focus. Hmm. So the afterlife, so you've been busy. So you've been helping comedians. You've been around comedians, like kind of as a coach, like Rocky had a coach. And you want us to recognize that some comedians are very serious or have had difficult or tragic lives. And part of the reason why they might use comedy is as an escape or not even only, but not only an escape, but to be, to really express their, maybe their creativity, their artistry. He says, yeah, he says, possible, possible. And then, uh, possibly, possibly, he says. Gotta make sure I get the L-Y in there, possibly. It's like, I'm like, oh, it's not, I'm not, a, do I look like a dictaphone? Like, uh, blah, 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 blah. no, I'm not an re audio recorder. Um, but it says he's also been around, it. he says, he says he's also been around his family. It says, I'm. A, he's like, ah, person, person, do you not see me in a person form? Yes, Robin, I see you in a person form. <laughs> he's like, don't call me it. He's like, it? That's a movie, you know, that's a scary movie. Don't don't bring that out. People might not like that. Okay. Speaking of movies, let's talk about film. So, what do you consider? I have my own opinions. I'm sure you guys do too. What do you consider your best performance? It's like, what do you mean by best? Okay. Um, a performance that you feel like you really did great. Like if you could step outside of your body uh -huh. <laughs> and look back and it was like somebody performing something, you would say, wow, that's great. And he says, you bring up, a, he says, you started something. You bring up a good point. We are, uh, we are our own worst critics. We are hard, hard on ourselves. Every, and that goes for everybody. And especially for actors and actresses and he says, you know, when I say actor, I mean like the women and the men, right? Yes, I, yes, we do. Thank you for clarifying that. And he's like, showing respect, you know? Okay, got it. Um, he, I keep seeing his wife too. He's keep bringing, he brings his wife. He must have been married twice. It feels like you have, we're married twice. Um, the second wife. And then I got an R name. I'm so bad with names. Everybody knows that I'm bad with names. I wasn't, I'm not good with names in real life people. So, hmm. Robin says, like, it feels like a R Rita or Rhonda? R Rita? I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if that's his wife either. But I feel like a wife, and then I, he's mentioning two, like, people, women, relationships. Hello? Focus for me. I'm asking you about your best performances, and you're talking about your wife, your most recent wife. <laughs> He's, there's just so much gratitude for her. He's so thankful for her. I'm so thankful for her. I'm so thankful for her. Without her, I would not be here. 
in the way that I can be here talking to you. He's like, I would not have lived as long as I lived without her support and her help. Like the last 10 years, it looks like she helped. Eight to 10 years. The last eight to 10 years of his life, this woman, looks like his wife, helped a whole lot. Very support my rock. He's like, my rock. He said, I don't want to be cliche, but it's, she my rock. I said, gosh, I feel like there's a Rita. There's got to be somebody named Rita around you. I can feel it. I can just feel and sense energy. Rita or Rhea? Rita? Rita, I think it's Rita. Help me, Rhonda. Okay, funny. You're funny. You're so funny. Okay. See what I mean? He's like silly, kind of pokes at you. It's not like he's funny. Ha ha. He's funny like, oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Um, talk to me about your best performance. You are like Mr. Humble or something or what? He's like Patch Adams. Did you like Patch Adams? Yeah, it was an intense though. Kind of intense. Um... I have my fa Dead Poet Society was awesome. He said he's actually saying Goodwill Hunting. Are you in Goodwill Hunting? Oh my gosh, that sounds so horrible. Sorry, you guys. I'm super not like into all the movies and stuff. I know a few stuff things, but that's about it. He um, Goodwill Hunting. He's talking about being in Goodwill Hunting, and he that was one of his best. He's like everybody. De he says yes, but a lot of people will look at Good Dead Poet Society. I think as a good, and he says that was that was. Uh, a great, he says, that was an excellent opportunity for me. That was an excellent opportunity. You are a fantastic dramatic actor. He says, most comedians are. Because remember what I said, underneath all that ha ha funny is like this depth, this other stuff going on that you just, you can't, you gotta find a way to express it. And so they, a lot of comedians can be very good dramatic actors. He said, I wish there was more of that, more opportunities for that. I think there is now. That's kind of coming. You're not as much, you're either this or you're this. You know, it's not like that. He's saying, and he's, and he's saying, well, look at Caitlyn Jenner. You don't have to just be this or this. You can be both. Okay, that joke may not fly with everybody, mister. Okay? It's okay, though. It's fine. We're all good. He's like, we're all good. Okay. Um... I feel a connection to Canada for you. Um, Canadian, I don't know what that means. Canada connection. Uh, that's interesting, I don't know. And I see you like being on stage, like wanting to act in a theater. Is that how you started? He said it's been a mix. I don't know if you started in theater and this is a stage actor but I see you loving that oh love love it um you've done a lot okay so we know Goodwill Hunting was one of the performances you say that you really that was best for you best um I really loved Mrs. Doubtfire I did like that movie that was a good one I gotta say so you've also been he's like oh really oh now don't you like it I can't I can't he's doing the impression but I can't do the character very well, so you guys have to forgive me. Oh, she is doing her best, he says. <laughs> I mean, who likes Mrs. Doubtfire? Me, I love it. All right, so you've also been in TV, television, and I think I remember hearing somewhere that you were working on some kind of a TV show or that there was something in production or potentially coming out, and it looks like it's an, an offshoot, like not like a Netflix thing or some uh, some other kind of like a streaming service. Yes. It looks like there was one season or the first something, and it did it didn't really go well as well as you thought it wasn't as well received it almost looks like he's playing a dad or something can you imagine robin williams as your dad uh no you know robin it seems like you would be really good like producing or directing he says i've tried that and you would think that that would be something that i could do but i feel that i put too much pressure on not the individual actors or actresses, but on the outcome, what I, the vision, what I want to see happen. And I recognize that so many, so much of the creative process is in the, the impromptu, the improvisation and the, the random thoughts that come to your head and you just roll with it, with the lines and you can just create something so much better 
than what is just in the script. The writers go take it so far, and then you, the actors and the actresses, that, that ensemble working together can just create some real magic. And, and he's, he's pointing to Will and Grace. So did you like that show? It was fantastic. Fantastic cast. Now that's an example of how in a sitcom or in a in a television series, how a cast can just work off each other and there's just such a synergy there, he says. And that's exciting. That makes good TV. That makes good movies as well. But the, over the long haul, that coming in week after week and day after day and working with those same people, you really got to build that rapport and the audience becomes part of the inside jokes. And that's the beauty of television. That's what I loved about television. And you know, I started off in TV. I do. I remember my my memory of you in TV is Mork. Mork for Mork, Nanu Nanu. He's like, that's pretty lame, Bridget. I'm like, <laughs> I know the way I said it, but <laughs> come on. I remember that, you know, pretty cool, pretty astral there, pretty uh, um, progressive. He's like, um, I see the um, suspenders like he shows me like a navy blue t-shirt and it's got some kind of a circle there's an emblem on it I don't know what the logo is it's like a reddish or orange logo or something like that and then he's got the uh, rainbow suspenders on <laughs> like okay <laughs> he says it's kind of true I kind of felt I kind of feel like an alien at times you know so what afterlife is it kind of like that is that what you're saying? Or are you talking about human life? He says, no human life. All of us are kind of walking around alien to each other because we are all so unique. And what we, what our skills are and our traits are and how all that mixes together to create our lives. It, it's beautiful and it's just a complete disaster at the same time. It's, it's hard, it's just a wreck. It's hard to consistently navigate life when everyone is seeking oh gosh Robin this is good everyone is seeking that acceptance that recognition of some kind of recognition of, of who they are like people want to be seen for who they are and that's not for what they can do or give you or how good you feel when you're with them. People want to be seen as, and accepted as who they are without having to say a word to you or do anything for you, just because that's just the human to human expectation. Wouldn't that be great if that was just a natural thing is everybody could be their own human, have their own life experiences and and they interlap, they overlap each other and, but everyone just, there's like just a natural mutual respect. What if that was just normal? What if that was typical to just accept others and see them as just like you and not the like you parts you don't like, but everybody, what if everybody just accepted and, and liked themselves and then that reflected outward to other people, then they reflected back to you. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something. Profound, Robin. That's a big, wow. <sighs> Profound. There is a depth to you, and I know that because we've spoken before, and you have such a generous, you're so generous, too. You're so generous with your time, and like young actors, and you're so open and willing to just go places with people and play. You're so playful. Um, that energy that you had in human life, there was a playfulness about that, that I think that's the purity of you. I think that's what, what your soul is really like, is that kindness, that playfulness. And he's saying, thank you, like a gratitude. Like he's saying, thank you. Thank you for seeing me. I see you, you see me, do you see me? Third eye, see, I see you. That's beautiful, thank you. Thank you, Robin. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, everyone, I'd love for you to feel this energy of this emotion with me. Can you please feel this, the message that he's bringing forward? 
being being yourself, liking yourself, accepting yourself. And he's like, no matter what, you don't get to go in and say, I like this, I don't like that, I like this, I don't like that. It's not like throwing away old clothes or something. He's like, uh-uh, mm -mm. It's just that, just natural. What if that was just the norm? Everyone just liked themselves, accepted themselves, and then they reflected that to other people. And then when you met other people, it was just a natural acceptance. Just, and a, a see, I see you. Okay, feel that, please. I feel it in my solar plexus. So this is our heart chakra. Our solar plexus is right about the belly button. I feel it here. I had so many more things I wanted to ask you. <laughs> but I think this is uh, a lot. Can I ask you one more question? He says, I'm, I'm here all day. I'm here all day. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's like, oh, sorry, sorry. I know you had, he's like, he's acknowledging. I had a, a intense channeling uh, yesterday and so, and it was long. And so thank you. Thank you very much for respecting that. I'd, I'd like to ask you one more question in this particular video. And then we, we've got to talk again, Robin. There's so much to talk about with you and explore. How, how would you like to be remembered? He says, as a good guy, as a good guy. That's it. And then there's a tremendous amount of just emotion, a peacefulness, a peaceful energy. And you are a good guy, Robin. You are one of the good guys. Yeah, he's a good guy. Wow. Awesome. Let's do another, let's do another video. Let's do another interview with Robin Williams from The Afterlife. If you have questions or things that you would like to know or you're curious about with Robin, we didn't get into a whole bunch of stuff, but that's in part because he and I have talked before. So I will link the audio in the comments below, but if you want to know some stuff from Robin, if you have questions, you're curious, please share in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and Subscribe so you never miss a weekly channel. Remember, at Above Life Channel, the purpose is for you to be inspired by your own spirit. After all, it's your life, so live it. Thanks for being here.